What's up guys? It's me again, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve the final configuration of problem 2.25 of Griffith's fourth edition. Okay, so let's recall first our problem. Now using equations, in this case equation 2.30, here, we're going to find the potential at the distance Z above the center of this charge configuration, which is, a, uh, which is a circular charge configuration. And we're going to compute for verify the electric field from the potential. And we will, we will check whether this will yield the solution or the result that was provided by problem or solved by problem 2.6. Okay. So because this is a continuous charge distribution, again, the potential will be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times integral of dq with respect to r. Okay, so if this is, for example, your dq, okay, this will be your script r, okay, which is r away from the center of the sphere. Okay, so this is your Z. Okay, so again, script R will be equal to square root of Z squared plus R squared. And then DA in spherical coordinate system in this configuration is given by R, DR, DP, where R will range from 0 to capital R and phi will range from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so this is the setup. So because this is a surface charge configuration, dq will now be equal to sigma, which is a surface density, a surface charge density, times dA. So this will now be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times sigma dA over script R. And putting everything together, this will now be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times integral of sigma R dr d phi. Okay? Over square root of z squared plus r squared okay so here we have double integral so sigma can be taken out of the equation divided by 4 pi epsilon naught then we can uh, separate the two integrals here as follows so this becomes integral of r dr over square root of z squared plus r squared integrated from 0 to r And integral of d phi integrated from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, this is 2 pi. So this becomes 2 pi sigma over 4 pi epsilon naught. And then the integral of this, again, you can solve this by yourself. The result would be square root of z squared plus r squared evaluated from 0 to r so therefore the potential which is a function of z is equal to 2 n pi will cancel with this so this is sigma over 2 epsilon times square root of r plus z squared minus z and this is your potential okay very easy right now uh, because the potential is a function of z again just like the previous two examples or two configuration the electric field which is defined as negative gradient of v is now equal it can be simplified as negative derivative of v with respect to z which again you can you can do the differentiation later which is equal to, uh, indeed, sigma over 2 epsilon, uh, sorry, over 2 epsilon naught.
times 1 minus z over square root of z squared plus capital R squared z hat, which should be in agreement with problem 2.6. Okay, I believe this is your one of your problem sets, so I hope you'll be able to verify this by yourself. Okay, so that's the end of the three-part problem, problem 2.25. I hope you learned something today, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.